Okay, as promised, this is John Aaron reconstructing the light experiment with the jazz. I uh, have to tell you, I'm still not sure what I have here. What you're looking at there is the battery that the lights more or less across. 11.91 volts. What you're looking at over here is the battery that the Jazz is working on. What you're looking over there is the amperage that the light is drawing. It's over 3 amps. There's the jazz. There's the light. That's the battery. So we're talking about three amps between the two. We can look at it that way. So you can either look at them all together, which we can try to do here. There we go. My leads here. Okay. There we go. The one on the left is the first battery. The one on the right is the jazz. Remember we're drawing 3.11 amps. So the question is of course, for those of us who are questionable, where's the 3.11 amps going? you hear in the background is the jazz. So we're losing about what a tenth of a, a hundredth of a volt there. There's your amperage on the light. Get a better shot. There we go. Okay, let's recap. The battery number one is on the left. The jazz is on the in the middle. And on the right is the amperage that the lamp's drawing. And the noise is the jazz. And the crazy uh, questioning sound is John Aaron's. So I guess the good news is that I'm able to reconstruct this. The bad news is there must be some bad news in here somehow. I guess the bad news is I still don't know where the three amps are going or coming from. 
depends on which side of the street you're looking at. You're wondering why I'm not putting the meters closer together because I'm afraid of moving something and losing it all. So we're five minutes into this and as you can see there's not much going on here. Or as one of my emailers says, it's the most boring video he's ever seen. Oh, I promised I wasn't going to repeat that. Anyway. Well, we're over 5 minutes and 43 seconds into this. We've got a 3 amp light running here. Does this mean the world will have light? I've been trying to figure out what's going on. And I still have to come back to the one of two theories, and one is that we're converting magnetic energy into electric energy. The second theory is that we're building a bridge across the jazz and allowing photons, which is another form of energy which is produced by electrons, to cross over and fool the battery. So if we look at that, and we're talking about the three amps not really being there at all. So I think that's pretty impressive. If you're looking really close, I'm going to turn the uh, light off in here and see what kind of show you what kind of light we're dealing with. That's a headlight. If I focus it up, I'd be able to light this room. I don't know why I feel I have to prove anything. But, I guess you're noticing, like I am, that nothing's moving there. It also seems that once the field gets established, that it gets better. How long can I leave this on without burning something up? I don't know. Yeah, I do have a wide angle. There you go. Nine minutes into this, and as you can see, the three amp light is not really hurting too much. 